This is a polar vortex. Yep, that's me. I can't believe I went outside to film that. The temperatures are dropping to negative 40. And it's going to hit us in 12 hours. A polar vortex is a huge system of cold Arctic air trapped around the North Pole. And usually it stays there. But every once in a while, it's forced south, trapping the extreme cold weather here on us at the cabin. We're basically in the Arctic. These are some of the coldest temperatures on Earth, and it makes it extremely hard to go outside or do anything at all. Will we survive? Well, we did just post this video, <laughs> but it's going to be a challenge. As we live off grid, our toilet is outside, and our only heat source is wood heat. These are base layers. Woolies, one of the most important garments. The outer shells. How Canadian. Oops. Thank you to Typology for sponsoring today's video. These boots were built for this weather. Negative 40 booties going on. I'm already a thousand degrees, sweating. That makes two of you. <laughs> Before we go outside, we need to make sure the cabin stays completely warm and this is the last log. We have no heat right now, aka wood. And the temperature is gonna drop in a matter of hours. Are you ready, Embrace, to embrace the star jazz? Yeah, I am! Let's do it. We'll do it together. So commences the polar vortex prep. We've never spent a winter at our off-grid cabin. This is the first one ever. And it's a polar vortex. Do you think we can heat our cabin during a polar vortex at negative 40? You and I are going to find out. For the past four years, we have escaped the hardships of winter by seeking warmer weather in our van. This is our first winter at our cabin, embracing all that the season brings. Oh, crazy. I'm literally eating my hair. This is gonna be, a, this is gonna be an interesting time, eh, Jazz? All right, everyone, we kind of pulled a silly. We knew there was a polar vortex coming. We just didn't realize how drastic the temperatures would change in such a short period of time. Oh my God, who's here? Is someone in the woods again? Oh wait, it's the propane people. Okay, I am smiling. I am absolutely so surprised and shocked that Wilson's actually made the drive out here today, but they made it out here. They're so brave. This is an amazing part of our storm prep. We tried to get them out here to get our indoor toilet up and running. And if we could do that, that would mean we wouldn't have to go to the bathroom outside. You could see I'm smiling ear to ear because it's just the relief that we may have an indoor toilet for this polar vortex. Imagine going to an outhouse for negative 40 and sitting on the toilet seat. The the other day, I scraped ice off our toilet seat. For over a year, we haven't had an indoor bathroom or toilet in our cabin, and now we officially do. So this is Cinderella. She's beautiful. Come look inside, she's shiny. The Cinderella toilet is an incinerated toilet, which means we are going to be burning our poo. Burning it. Completely gone. It becomes actual ash in seconds. We're gonna talk lots about this as we get it installed and get to using it, but today we're crossing our fingers that we get there. Okay, Andrew and Ben are all set up. They're gonna need my hands on roof, not deck, but we are in a time crunch from the polar vortex, so we need to stay warm. So we need to try to stack all this wood before they need me, because I'm actually getting very worried. We are gonna be doing this in the oh. freezing cold as it's already dropping. My fingers! Yeah, it's like dropped like six degrees already oh. since we've been chatting. The good thing about wood is that, I don't know if you've ever heard this, but it warms you twice. When you cut it and stack it, and when you heat your house. I'm actually warm right now. Uh, yeah, and out of breath, and out of shape. While the gas fitters work their magic and we await our new throne, we continue our preparation for the storm. It's almost time for number two, and I don't mean logs. Human! <laughs> <sighs> it's tiring. Oh my God. <laughs> Just, oh, so tired. We're just a pile of logs. <laughs> well, at least we got the wood going. Go, we are That's an okay start for now. Couple more wheelbarrows. Bring some of that wood inside. We should be set. Harness for the roof. Snug as a bug. This thing is bringing back memories, everyone. 
I'm acting excited, but it's because I'm super nervous. I need to be honest with you. I'm really scared of heights, let alone a slippery metal roof. Over the past year of renovations and all of the challenges that we have faced, our roof install was by far the most difficult for me. I'm worried about me. Um, yeah, are you? Yeah, of course I'm worried. I'm, I got it. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I got it! I actually can't believe she's up there today. She is so brave. My fingers are numb and I'm not even doing any sort of work. I imagine she's sweating because she's on the roof. It's truly actually really important for us that we get this installed. It's gonna provide us with so much comfort and we've had it, you know, since before Christmas, Christmas time, and it's time to get it in and get it working. It's gonna provide us with so much comfort and so I think she sees that it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's time to have a toilet in the cabin. So let's bring it home. Proud of you, Jazzy. So cool, my hands! I don't know if you call me crazy or stupid right now, but once I'm sitting on this ridge, I'm feeling much better now that I'm harnessed in. It's always the scariest part. Getting down, I'm probably gonna cry, but anything for a toilet. So cold. I am so freezing right now. After all this, we are going to have to do this again, but with the bigger flashing. They cut the hole way too big, but it's gonna have to do us for now. And now, my least favorite part. I'm really scared. Yeah, you like you gotta, I'm gonna slide. I need you to hang on to me. I can't wait. Yes. Holy. My hand is frozen. It's so cold. You did it though. I did it. I really did it. We're going to have a toilet for the polar vortex and forever, everyone. I was able to get the van heater running this afternoon, which is huge because the temperatures are hours away from being like negative 30. So the van is super important right now because it is running our entire cabin. Normally it's the van in and the EcoFlow. EcoFlow cord melted onto an extension cord. So we only have one source of power right now. Which, which is, is the van, which we need to keep warm. And so when the heater started working this afternoon, I was so excited. And Wow, that is such a relief. It's a huge relief, a huge relief. So right now we can focus on getting the rest of that wood up here and move on to the rest of the tasks that we need to do before it gets dark. We need to do this right now. Yeah. That blue cord is connected to the van. Which then we have the power station here. I've now plugged in this extension cord. Call this extension cord city. Now, we need to heat trace onto our main water line. So heat trace is a coil of wires that heats up your water lines. If that freezes and bursts everything in here, that is not gonna be a good day. The heat trace is not something we always have plugged in because it's not always necessary. We have to just keep an eye on the temperatures. Because we have limited power, we pick and choose when we plug it in. Hence why it is so, so important today and tomorrow, the next 48 hours. It's gotta be poison. After wiring the 12 volt, it's time to prepare for our first incineration. First step is to grab your paper liner and place it in the toilet. For testing purposes, we are using a cup of water. For obvious reasons. Incineration in progress. Then we wait for the incineration process to complete. Yay for warm butt cheeks. We have ash. Whoa. What I find super fascinating about the toilet and that we didn't even mention is that it doesn't use water. How amazing is that? The future is friendly. I'm smiling ear to ear because I didn't have to go outside to go pee. It doesn't feel real. And I never thought I'd talk to y'all in the toilet, but here we are. Like I just peed inside. What the heck? I peed inside my cabin. The day is not nearly over. We're just really getting started. We have a lot more ahead of us, but a little hot cocoa is just enough to keep you going. It is the best part of any cold winter day. And we're not in Baja, so it's the best we can get here. I was so ecstatic when I saw Wilson's trucks coming down the driveway and I experience something I haven't experienced in a while because of winter. I think we have so much fun when the tradies show up because we just, we're like buddies and we're always doing something awesome together or learning something new and it just felt super good. I love it and I miss that feeling. So it kind of just like brought me back to the summer days for a minute and made me realize that 
That's something I miss so much. I am so proud of us for continuing to remember about the wood stove. <laughs> we actually have no choice, but yeah, I'm proud too. Well, <laughs> we always have no choice and we always forgot about it. Yeah, because it's warm enough. Tonight, we're waking up every hour. Yes, fire master. <laughs> fire master rules. Mm, you are the fire master. <laughs> Got a stock, it's on high heat, and now we need to leave the cabin. Burgundy's on the oaks. Greasy ever the sun. So cold, look at it. Bella's lifting her paws. We gotta get the girls in. Up, up, girls. Up, girls, up. Oh my gosh. Uh, good girl. Woo. I'm very happy we're making the decision to go tonight to get the rest of our supplies because I know it's dark, but it's only 6 p.m. and it's only negative 20 right now. And I'm saying only negative 20 because it's gonna be negative 40, which means if we can have everything we need and we don't have to leave the cabin tomorrow, that would be the best case scenario. So that's why we're headed out right now. And then we'll be set up for success tomorrow. We don't have to think about it. After a drive to the nearest gas station, we fill up a jerry can for our generator, as well as a backup water supply and necessary storm chips and the girls get a cookie from their BFF before heading home to continue prepping for the storm and finishing what we started. We're gonna start the fire in the garage so I'm gonna get some of these coals and we're gonna bring them into the fireplace in the garage to get her going. This is an awesome trick if you have the tools. I have to say I'm so happy that we have two different methods to heat this place because it's such peace of mind with our off-grid system being in here. But it's now 10 degrees in here, which is super nice. The wood stove is blazing. And I love that the wood fire keeps you so busy in the winter. It's such a nice feeling. You are the thermostat. Yeah. Really good one too. Nighty night tea tonight. But not too nutty night because in just a few hours we're gonna be stoking the stove. Or? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'll help you. Because you're at the garage one. I genuinely enjoy it. I'm also a night peer. <laughs> so. And I don't wake up. There's always one of those who wake up in the middle of the night. I hold it. It's probably because my honey keeps the place so warm for me. Good work today. Couldn't have done it without you. It's a good day. We're not even at the hardest part yet. Keeping the house warm all night. Stay warm, everyone. See you in a couple hours. 3 a.m. Fire's still pretty hot. We definitely stacked it pretty good. I can feel the wind going straight through my pants. I didn't put my snow pants on. And I think we're sitting at like negative 30 right now. Gotta keep the garage warm too. This is definitely not what I wanted to see. <sighs> to restart the fire. Look at it out there. The polar vortex is here. Oh my goodness. Imagine I had to walk to the outhouse this morning. I am so grateful that my morning bath commute looks a lot different nowadays. <laughs> yes! Don't have to go outside. We're doing a full cleanup this morning, taking full advantage of this beautiful, bright bathroom. Using simple, naturally active, sustainable skincare, this is why we love Typology. It's back to the basics with wonderful ingredients. Can you see it on my face? Typology skin diagnostic test helped me identify my skin type, and I notice immediately I feel brighter. My sunshine. <laughs> Stop. You need babies. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I've always struggled with dry skin from the harsh winter weather. But now, you'd never know. This is a botanical six plant extract I use in the mornings, which makes me glow. Who has smoother skin now? The skin diagnostic test is free. Anyone can do it to figure out the best routine for you. 
And this one right here is my absolute favorite because there's caffeine in it and AM and PM, I put it underneath my eyes. Of course, Typology is vegan and cruelty free. Fairly priced, healthy, and environmentally friendly. Even the packaging is intentionally designed. The bottles remind me of Dan Levy's Apothecary in Schitt's Creek. <laughs> How cute! The most important thing for me is the natural ingredients. I love to know that what I'm putting on my face is earth friendly and it's good for my skin. Typology sells premium products made with the highest quality ingredients at a great price. Hers. And hers. You will receive a free face scrub when you click the link in our description and you spend $30 or more. You can take the free skin test to receive personalized recommendations and shipping is free when you spend $60 or more. Crystal is the fire master at night and the overall better fire master, but I'm gonna help her now. Temperature update, because I love looking at the temperature. A low of 20 degrees last night, everyone. I would say that is a huge win. We can all thank Crystal, or I can thank Crystal. Stayed 11 degrees in here, everyone. Did you come here at six in the morning or only three in the morning? <laughs> Just kidding. You wouldn't expect you to come out here at six. I went outside for one minute. The girls just went to the bathroom. It is so bitter and frigid. I have, honestly haven't experienced this since I was a kid. We've avoided so many winters by driving our van to Mexico and eating tortillas. And truthfully, I haven't been this cold in over a decade. I just told Crystal I was going to go check on the garage fire. However, this morning I secretly came over to the sauna fire and I've been trying to secretly keep this thing going to surprise her with a sauna because who wouldn't want to have a sauna in a polar vortex? That sounds incredible. Crystal loves the sauna. She's in here all the time and I think it would really make her day. Okay, shh. That looks so cute back there. Oh! It was such a short period of time that I was out there. I'm so happy we are going to the bathroom outside. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely relieved. Thank gosh, I still can't believe that worked out the way it did. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's wicked. White out conditions, people. Don't you feel like you're in the Arctic? Yes. I would love to go to the Arctic. One of my friends who's never really experienced any cold weather asked me what it feels like and I thought that was a super cool question. And what it feels like is everything hurts. You know when your foot goes to sleep and you step on it? That's how I would describe what it feels like being outside for probably 10 minutes, maybe even less, is your, everything starts to feel like tingling and it stings. And your nostrils feel really weird. That was the most gorgeous garlic I've ever looked at in my life. Beautiful. Yes, those are all of our dishes. And yes, they are frozen to a crisp. And I am getting creative. <laughs> this is my spatula. Now that I think about it, very good for your pants. The reason why we haven't done the dishes is because the van's heater hasn't been working and so the tank full of water, we had a risk of freezing and all of the pipes and everything else in the van, so I emptied out the water tank. Therefore, we have used every last dish in this house. Maybe even twice. <laughs> and hopefully the van's heater is still running. I was able to get it going for a few hours, so hopefully we'll be able to get some dishes done and, and hopefully the van will be okay. Garlic. There we go. Oh, I think I see another. <gasps> There's quite a few things about off grid living that could test your limits and your character. And I have to say, it's so much more amplified in the winter. Everything's just a bit more challenging when. Everything has a risk of freezing. It's really cold <laughs> and windy and long and you know, okay, it's a bucket of dishes, but it wouldn't be the true and full story if I didn't tell you that this has been stressing me out and bothering me and I have been worried about the van and 
everything to do with it. And something as simple as sitting down for a meal and not being able to wash the dishes have been driving me up the wall. It just feels good to share the raw truths and something that is going on behind the scenes right now. And it's these moments where I think, wow, when we have the kitchen and we have the cabin like to a place that's like comfortable, I know things can go wrong, things break down, but wow, I'm gonna look back at these moments in the harsh winter when <laughs> the dishes were frozen and the van was frozen and the water had to be drained and we will look back at these moments and we will laugh. And we can kind of laugh now because it's warm and it's time to get washing. Uh-uh. It's not working? Is the fuse not in or something? The fuse is in, it's probably frozen. I was just about to celebrate. Oh no. No water. Frozen. Right, try again. Best guess is frozen. I would open all of these up and then come back in a few hours. Sorry about that. That's life. <laughs> I know you were looking forward to that. Yeah, I was. We'll figure it out though. That's the way life goes, you know, sometimes. I was so nervous with Krista walking back with the dishes there that she was going to see the sauna, but she was so sad that she couldn't do the dishes. She didn't even notice. She's just getting a jerry can right now because... The van's heater is not working again. Oh, man. Did you check the batteries? They're low. They're low right now. 12.2. Oh, heater will shut off. Yeah, so let's... You know what we got to do now, everyone? You can probably guess it. Okay, so did you all see this extension cord? This extension cord is going to our van, which is currently running our cabin right now. Because we have shore power, we are able to charge our van's batteries with shore power. I'm like looking around right now and I'm like, winter is so beautiful. The beauties and struggles, you know? Yeah. They are just so polar. Yeah. You're like, wow, I love looking at the trees like this. And you're just like, well, I hate going outside right now. Choke on. On choke? Oh no. Flood it. Please, 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 please. One more. One more. Too cold. No. Is that the big guy? Yeah, I guess so. At least we have a backup generator for our generator. <laughs> How did you get out here, Bella? Look at your paws. You're lifting them. Come on. Up. Oh, let's go. It's not safe for you out here. Are you okay? Let me warm you up. She's still limping. Hang on. She's still limping. Bear, you can't go outside. Oh my goodness. It's different less than two minutes. You want to live off grid? It's not like this all the time. But when it sucks, it sucks! few days and some lessons learned, we are starting to embrace the elements. If there is one thing we learned this year, it is that we can get through any challenge as long as we have each other. Although going out for a walk in a vortex is probably not a splendid idea, it is if you've got the right gear, because there's no such thing as bad weather. Am I right, everyone? You're right, just bad gear. This is magic. We have, I think, what is a full moon out here tonight. The sunset has a little bit of a pink hue in the sky, and we just saw an eagle. I wish I could have got it for you. the last cold night of the polar vortex has gifted us. The bitter end, this is like the rainbow in the storm, but we've got a beautiful sunset, an absolutely stunning, big, beautiful moon. You're right, we're on the lake for the very first time instead of in the lake. Yeah, it's just, it's such a nice experience. First time ever. Ever on our lake. On it's our lake. Our first winter. Yeah. Let's go get our girls. Hello girls! Wow, so foggy, I love it! 
my brain can't stop thinking about the van batteries, so I need to check them. Only spot I get, Bluetooth, 54%. Thought there'd be silence, eh? Oh my gosh, the van heater's on. We turned the van heater on before we left for a walk, and it's still on. Good news, I'm so happy. Let's try this. That's a hard no. That's still not working. I don't, I don't really know. Okay, heater's working, sink still isn't, batteries are at 54%. Happy mama. Okay, so the sauna is still blazing. It's literally been all day. I have been taking care of the sauna, but as you can see, I'm in the sauna in a parka and I'm not even sweating. But that's because it's a negative 40 outside. I maybe should have thought this through a little bit better. It's been so hard to get it up to temp. Let's just say our cabin is hotter than our sauna right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but it's the thought that counts, right? That's what matters the most. Wow. I was honestly worried with the polar vortex coming, if we could heat our cabin with only a wood stove, knowing that it was going to be negative 40. With so many challenges, one generator after another generator, <laughs> <laughs> we did it. And I'm proud of us. We did it together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud because it was not easy and there were ups and downs, but here we are sitting in this warm, super warm, actually I could probably shed a layer. Yeah. <laughs> your hat's coming off your head. To be honest. With beautiful, delicious stew in our laps. The dogs are here with us, the fire's going. I would say that's how you handle a polar vortex, 10 out of 10. Crushed it. Crushed it. Good job. <laughs> Should I tell Crystal all of our surprise, everyone? What do you mean? Surprise. We've them. been hanging out. What? The peeps and I. All day, I have been trying to keep our sauna nice and warm. Every trip to the garage has also mean, meant a trip to the sauna. So we could have a nice sauna tonight. However... Is it actually hot? You're smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's colder than our cabin. No, it's not. It's 23 degrees and I'm pretty sure... If you can get it to 30, I'm in there. I've been trying all day. <laughs> Aww, babe. It's the thought that counts though, right? <laughs> okay. But you're sweet. It's been a long few days, eh, Bella? But I think it's over. It's definitely over. <laughs>